Boom. Uh, that was a very, very discussion. That was a what? Very informative discussion. Oh, that was thank really you. good. Cool. Glad to hear that. Let's see what amazing titles are. What amazing titles are waiting to be unlocked? We got through that with 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 nary a, a, a Colin reference. So, uh, I mean, the top <laughs> is got uh, them all out in the pre-show. The top one is uh, I'm a bikey man from a bikey <laughs> gang riding an Uber bike on a rack. Well done, Dark Redeemer. Well done. Uh, oh snap! We overtook Twitter. Oh, interesting. Kind of like that one. Um, Twitter not so snappy now. Uh, Uber drives a line in the sand. Yahoo can't keep FBI secrets. Uh, give my re- give my regards to Kampala. Twitter makes a Snapchat judgment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's see three levels of Apple News. Uh, surprise! Twitter's not ephemeral enough. Amazon versus Apple. Dawn of the Store Wars. <laughs> oh wait, that one just disappeared. Snapchat versus Twitter. Dawn of Social is another uh, spin. Oh, well, I missed the. Everyone's voting, so it's popping all over the place. No, getting in uh, there. Uber holds your bike. Hmm. I do like the Amazon versus Apple down the stores, just because it's funny. I also like Twitter not so snappy now. Or, oh, snap, we overtook Twitter. Which is, uh, yeah, that's my favorite right there. Oh, snap, we overtook Twitter. Oh, snap. I'm waiting for, uh, you know, you know uh, uh, a service or a product has taken on uh, a more popular or pop culture uh, uh, level of um, awareness when it has its own line of uh, food or clothing, like uh, like video games. Like Nintendo has like uh, Nintendo candy, even though it's just licensed characters. Mm-hmm. Nintendo cereal. If they had like, uh, yes. Oh, I was just wondering if they had Twitter apparel or Snapchat apparel. All right, I think I'm gonna go with. Oh, snap, we overtook Twitter. How'd you guess? Because you liked it, and that was the one thing you mentioned verbally. <laughs> Where are we get that echo from? That's weird. Oh, wait, that's for me. I'm sorry. Oh, it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry. I have... This There. How's that? Better? Hello, yes. That, well, I still hear it a little bit. But... Okay, it's not. Wait a, wait a minute. Gosh darn it. I did not take... All right, hold on. Start talking. All right, I'll start talking. Justin? You gonna yeah, hey, so Gawker Media just oh. put out this thing that was like, hey, here's what Gawker Media does, like posting not only all of their well-done posts and long-form stuff, mm-hmm. but also the reaction to it. Reaction? Uh, what does that mean? Like uh, other people posting about it, right? Oh, okay. Other sources, the the kind of rabbit hole of it. Got it. Um, but, you know, they're not going to... <sighs> Nobody wants to side with the media, ever, right? Like, Not, not anymore, no. no. Well, the, I, I, the media being a beloved defender of the people... Ended in the 20s, I think. Well, yeah, if it ever existed at all, right? Yeah, it you probably know, ended in 1920s black and white movies. Yeah, probably like, never. Yeah, ended with hearse. Well, <laughs> it's like people can enjoy the work of the media, right? I think people often do that, but nobody wants to hear from the media. Oh, woe is us, poor us, right? Right. It's never going to work. It's like it, 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 it's the whole Marshawn Lynch thing where, like, you know, he didn't answer media questions. And, and then the media was like, oh, my God, can you believe this guy making it a real hard time for people to do that? And it's like nobody cares. People like Marshawn Lynch more than they like you. Like people like Hulk Hogan more than they like Gawker. 
People yeah. like PayPal more than they like Gawker, right? Like that's just always going to be the case. And if, if you want to win this argument based on, hey, look at all the good we do, then number one, you of all people, of all outlets, right? To be playing the, hey, don't take our worst possible public moment and hold it against us. Gawker's not that place, right? Because whenever they write about a celebrity, what picture do they show? Oh, them yeah. Their worst public moment. Like whenever they write about a company, what do they show? Them at their worst public moment. And I know hashtag not all Gawkers, right? <laughs> like it's that there's – Sure. This life hacker exists and there's other stuff. But like – IO9's this, fantastic. Love IO9. Great, it's great stuff. And listen, let me just say this. Gawker was, uh, back when it was a New York blog, it was one of my first uh, absolute daily must-reads as a blog. Will Leach at Deadspin made me want to be a blogger and, and made me want to write every single day uh, in, in short-form format. Gawker Media has been tremendously influential for me as a person. However, even with that being said, they ain't going to win this fight. Well, it's, it's, not, it's not Gizmodo. It's not io9. It's not Lifehacker. It's Gawker, right? And that is and the part of Gawker, which is the most salacious. Yeah, and here's the the, the the roughest part about this is that how much do you think Nick uh, Nick Denton actually hates AJ Delorio and the uh, and and Owen Nolan who ran Ballywag because he's fired both of them. Right, like, and he, and and in every possible interview that he has about this, he makes sure to say, "Yeah, we crossed the line, and we've tightened up." Like, I, I, I if if I were Nick Denton, I would, I would be screaming to say, "Listen, they're assholes, and we fired them because we want to be better." Yeah, I I think it's fine for them to post like, "Here are quality things we do." I think that's a fair response. But yeah. yeah, you're right. Nobody's gonna pity them. No, and and like to say, hey, look, look at all the cool stuff we've done. Yeah, like, you know, if if that's what, like, I don't know, it kind of gets into that Chris Rock thing. Like, you, I take you, care of my kids. You're supposed to. Like, well, I do investigative journalism. Like, here are all the investigative journalism stuff we've done. You're supposed to. Well, you know what's interesting is that uh, they should have seen it coming as a media, large media outlet. I mean, they trade on people's reactions to the stories that they they peddle, and so I don't think it, I don't think it's like out of left field to to kind of see how the public would have reacted. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it, it it's very 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 frustrating because. Again, we we have not. I think we've we've very intentionally steered away from talking about the Peter Thiel thing. Yeah, on the show. it's mostly not a tech story. It's not. It's 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 only a tech story in the fact that there's a website involved, not the website that covers technology, uh, and the co-founder of PayPal who happens to be on the board of directors for Facebook. So there's a financial story in there that's tech related, uh, but the main story is is a media story. Which we even avoided when we had a card-carrying member of the New York media elite in Steve Kovac on the show. <laughs> Does he carry a card, really? No. Oh, they, yeah, no. They, it, it, it comes with your, you know, <laughs> with your Upper West Side apartment. I see. I see. Well, that makes sense. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's so frustrating. Because I think the Gawker should be found... Uh, that, that, that they should have not, and I think on appeal, they will be found that they did not, uh, you know, that, that in the Hulk Hogan case, that I think that they should prevail in the Hulk Hogan case. I think that there is enough in, in my stupid armchair understanding of media libel law, uh, there is enough to say that he was a public figure, he was had made himself a public figure specifically in the area of, uh, you know, I mean, there's stuff. a, and, and here's the thing, and this is, again, not a tech story, no. but, but it is a media story. And, and the thing that the public often gets confused, not confused, the, the thing the public, re the way the public reacts to a media story is different than the way the law 
should react to a media story. It's fine and perfectly understandable for people to react to the story and say, wow, Docker is a real jerk. They shouldn't have done that, right? That's fine. It's different to say what they did should be illegal. It's not yeah. illegal to be a jerk. Not uh, yet. Yeah. <clears throat> and, and I think here's the other thing about the Teal situation. To what we know about this, about this particular situation, he is finding people that are currently suing Gawker. He is not recruiting people to sue Gawker. He is finding people with established cases and saying to them, if you could not take a settlement, but instead continue your suit, would you? Yeah. And I saying, Saul Goodman. <laughs> yeah. And saying, well, here's money to continue your suit. Yeah. Right? Again, you can very rightly say that is a jerk move on his part to use his money that way. But, that, but he should be able to do it. For somebody who wants to cure death, it is very small of him, right? Right. For somebody with, with a famous long view, it is very short-sighted. Now, now, a few people in the chat room are like, wait, I thought it was a privacy issue, not a liable law issue, et cetera. That, and that's what the court should decide. Well, you know, did, did Gawker cross the line? Did they, did they break laws? Did they steal things, uh, et cetera? You know, that, that's what the, the, the case should turn on, not whether it was, it was hurt feelings or, or being an asshole. Well, I mean, yeah, no, the, the, the issue is on privacy, but the, the material damages are based on the fact that he has had his career ruined, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Like, that's why that's there, and, and whether or not it was done maliciously. And also, I mean, just, I mean, God, you can't, I mean, like, Nick Denton has to hate A.J. Delorio. By the he way, I think it should be... wring his neck. I think it be very clear at this point that I have followed this case almost not at all. Yeah. So when I say about the privacy and the libel, I'm speaking in general about court cases and people in the chat room are like, yeah, but this case is about the, I don't know. I'm not following it. Not a text story. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. I really it can't have an opinion about who's right in the case because I haven't read into it that far. I am following it mostly as a wrestling fan. And again, oh, I yeah, will, that makes sense. I, and again, I will make clear that the only think piece that should uh, that that the only think piece that that should be written is whether or not Hogan should have cleanly jobbed out to Sting at Starcade '97. And if you're that was, not include that, then you are derelict in your duty. Uh, this sorry, is the final word. Putting really. the chat now. I, I I sometimes keep the chat up, and some like a lot of times, uh, chat for me is a distraction. And I feel like we've lately been in a very good rhythm, Tom and I, on on uh, the show. And and I I very often, uh, morning stream listeners know that you know it's almost comical to watch me kind of like zone out at times. I can I zone out very, very easily. So that's why sometimes I have the chat on, sometimes I have the chat off. So I'm sorry. I was not trying to neglect anybody in the chat. No, no. I don't think they felt neglected either. All right. Uh, well, friends, Romans, countrymen, we're done here. All right. I love you guys. You too. Hogan should have job clean at Starcade 97. Hashtag Hogan should have job clean. <laughs>